People aren't cognizant of how much of it is smoke and mirrors, how much of a good game design is making it look like it's much more powerful than it actually is. The engine has several components. There's the renderer, which draws everything on the screen. There's the AI, which figures out how the characters move around the world. There's collision. There's networking that figures out how you play the game online. And then there's the tool set, such as Unreal Ed, which we use a lot around the office as level designers to build the world. So how do these components set the Quake and Unreal engines apart from each other? The differences are very technical, but result in unique design tools. The Quake 3 engine boasts what results in the best-looking polygonal architecture, especially in its ability to render curved surfaces. This technology is most evident in games like Heavy Metal Fact 2 and Alice. The more commonly licensed engine is the Unreal Engine. It's been used in games like Rune and Deep Space Nine The Fallen. One of the engine's chief strengths is its ease of use. You can quickly um, put together your levels. Um, the level editor is very good, uh, so you don't have to wait around to see what the game is going to look like. Even though the original games of both engines are first-person shooters, obviously engines can be used for a variety of genres. If you want to build a third-person game, a driving game, uh, you can usually tailor an engine into what you want to do with it. Engines are being licensed more and more frequently as developers look to save valuable time and resources. While licensing engines has mainly been a route for PC game developers, it looks like that's about to change. I think you'll find companies licensing game engines more and more, especially with all the new technology like Xbox, Nvidia, NV20. We already have several licensees using the engine on Xbox and PlayStation 2. It's pretty clear that the potential of both the Quake and Unreal engines is only limited by creativity. Activity.